In this video I'm going to show how to write the simplest assembly language program to display a string in MS-DOS. I already started my MS-DOS 6.22 virtual machine. I have a video with uh, installing this uh, virtual machine. I also have a Norton Commander installed in this uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to start it now, but I don't have it in my pad, so I'm uh, using the full pad. Okay. Uh, I already created uh, this uh, uh, program, uh, disp.asm. So now I'm going to press F4 to edit the program. So uh, basically all you need to do are these three uh, instructions. Uh, and uh, obviously you need the place for the message. Uh, for MS-DOS uh, strings to be displayed uh, using uh, the operating system function, uh, you need to terminate the string with a dollar sign. So this is very important uh, and it's not like uh, you're maybe used to in uh, C language where a string is terminated with a zero character. So in this case the string needs to be ended with a dollar sign. So what's happening here? Uh, well, uh, we are going to call uh, interrupt 21 hexadecimal, so it's very important to have this H sign, so it's interrupt 21 hexadecimal. This is the MS-DOS uh, provided interrupt, which uh, offers a number of functions. Uh, we are going to use function number 9. Uh, this allows displaying a message. And uh, in uh, the DX register, uh, we need to set uh, the address of the uh, message to be displayed. So in this case, uh, the message is defined here right after the program. Also in uh, MS-DOS, uh, you can end the program with another interrupt call, which allows you to set a return value. But uh, in order to have a very simple program, I am just using uh, red. So this actually terminates the program and returns the control to the operating system. Uh, the other uh, things you see here, like uh, model time equal startup, these are uh, pseudo instructions. These are not actually assembly language instructions, but. These are used by the assembler. I'm going to use uh, MASM. Uh, these are understood by the assembler and uh, they direct the assembler and linker to produce a certain type of code. And obviously the program needs to be finished by an end. This is also understood by the assembler and uh, it signals the assembler that now you have finished your program. Uh, again, in a previous video, I uh, installed uh, MASM, so if you need to install it, uh, please watch the other video. And now I'm going to run it. So uh, now I'm going to exit uh, Norton Commander, uh, pressing F10 to quit. Okay. Uh, and uh, I am going to first run uh, the new bars bat file from MASM. So that's uh, C MASM bin new bars bat. So this actually sets some uh, environment variables, the most important being the path, which allows us to run the ML executable without uh, specifying the full path. Okay, as you can see, it accepts a number of uh, options here. Uh, let's see uh, a bit more about these options. So if you run ml slash help, uh, it will open this uh, interface. Uh, you can read about the options here. 
uh, you can use tab to um, uh, access some um, sub menus like uh, see the full list of options uh, i'm going to use uh, slash at this enables tiny memory model support uh, maybe you remember i pressed i uh, entered the command uh, for uh, model tiny uh, and I'm also uh, going to use uh, slash uh, FL, which uh, will allow us to see a listing file. Okay, so I'm going to exit now. Uh, I am in this uh, directory where I have uh, this product ASM. So ML slash AT slash f l so it's a uh, capital f but lower l uh, disp dot lst there is no space here and this specifies the listing file and disp dot asm okay so uh, now it generated uh, disp dot com uh, actually, I'm going back to Norton Commander. Okay, and we have this COM file. This is the executable file that was produced by uh, compiling the assembly language file. And we have the LST file. But first, let's run uh, disp.com. I'm pressing here Control O so that we see the output. Uh, disp.com and hello world this is the message that uh, we printed from the file uh, you can uh, actually write only disp and uh, the result is the same so you don't really need to specify the file extension now if we look at uh, disp.lst I'm pressing F3 here uh, so we have uh, an information that it was compiled with Microsoft Macro Assembler version 6. Uh, then we have our uh, uh, pseudo commands, uh, model tiny code startup. So as I said, these are understood by the Macro Assembler itself, but uh, they are not translated into machine language. Then we have our code. So you can see here MOV AH. 9 mov dx offset message uh, int uh, 21 hexadecimal red yeah, so that's the uh, actual assembly language code and on the left you see uh, the machine language equivalent so uh, mov ah9 is actually b409 that ba0108 uh, CD21 and C3. So these are hexadecimal numbers representing the machine code. And uh, if we exit this viewer and look at the COM file again, I'm going to press F3. Uh, you can see this is uh, not something that uh, you can read, but if we press F4, uh, then we see a uh, hexadecimal uh, view of the file and we can see here uh, the same machine code uh, that we saw in the listing so B409, BA0801, CD21, C3 yeah, so that's our program and then uh, there is uh, the message uh, to be displayed so this is the tiniest uh, assembly language program that uh, can be written to display a string in uh, MS-DOS uh, using the uh, MS-DOS provided functionality. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, please do like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.